Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome. It's a Tell It Tuesday. Wow, or Try It Tuesdays. Tell or try. What are we going to do today? Tell or try. Hmm, I don't know. Welcome. It's me, Wingy Schneebay, Majeki Kwe, sweet grass water medicine woman. Um, also, Christiane Carr and Chris Carr, superstar. That's right. All oh, this beautiful divine being right here. And welcome to you, beautiful divine beings right here too yeah i've been i don't think i haven't done a tell it or try it tuesdays in a while i know when i first started i'm thinking it's amending monday but that was actually yesterday now wasn't it right getting closer to christmas here are you ready okay let me tell you something let me tell you something uh my big eagle sister is here and already it's so amazing. It's so amazing. Even though we were up till like wee hours of the morning talking, like two o'clock, one o'clock. I think last night I got to bed. We're so close to two, but it's a different. I'm not feeling that drain. I even woke up not feeling so so tired because the stress is already ah. <sighs> because you know, with my children, of course they're doing their testing, but. They really love my big eagle sister. Yes, they do. And they respect her too. So it's very nice, you know. I can see them pushing and testing because, hey, um, they're kids and that's what they do. But, uh, however, right, they, they are so kind to her. And she's so kind to them. She's so kind to us. It's so beautiful. And I'm so grateful. Hey, one more day. Yeah, more and more we see there's so much alike, right? It's like we're twins. It's like we're twins, but she's kind of like my um middle brother's twin because they share the same birthday as my brother Kenneth. So lots of things that we have in common, and you can see how Creator has put us together because there's lots of things that we want to do that's similar. The dreams that we have of helping and sharing, healing, right? Other, and the children, helping and sharing and healing the children and helping teach others how to do that. And then we're talking about like the big children and the little children, inner children. But those little ones, they don't have to carry that stuff in the future. It's so beautiful. We can do some great work. So, hey, okay. you're going to be doing it with us, bringing it on with us, right? I'm going to get her. Shh. I'm going to get her to do an interview with me. Yeah. Right? Who would like to see my eagle sister? Who would like to meet my eagle sister and have me do an interview? All right, let's do a tally. So, comment, let's see, let's see. Um, I need 10 people to comment. Okay, I think 10's a good number, we'll start with that. 10 people to comment, let's see an interview with Lynn. All right, give her encouragement. Come on, Lynn, you can do it. We wanna see you, we wanna see your beautiful face. And hear you share in part of your story. It's already helped so many. It's oh, amazing. Yeah, I just, there's no words to describe it. I've, oh, the women that's in my life right now. And if I sent you a thing to that, uh, um, sexy confidence, 40 sexy confidence, something like that. I'm sorry, sorry for lacking the words, but that's Jan Hill. Yeah, one of my soul peeps from school. Amazing woman, amazing being there too. Um, they're all my beats from school. I could go on and on, right? Lindsay Lestage is doing the attitude of gratitude challenge. Yeah. So pretty much all that I share on my begin within stuff is people that I've gone to school with people that I know personally, or, you know, that even that some of the stuff is work that I've done online too, that I've benefited from. So I share that, or I think that maybe somebody else I feel calling, like I haven't done it. So not everything, but there's some things where I read that go, oh, somebody's going to be interested in that, maybe, right? Like the Child Summit Conference and things like that. I don't know if I've signed myself up for that yet or not, but those things, right? So just know, especially if it's it's the, the um, personal ones and therapists, because as a registered therapist, psychotherapist up here in Canada, we're not allowed to advertise for ourselves, right? So I'm trying to help out my peeps, but I can advertise for them and make referrals to them and things like that too. So 
There you go. What's that? Oh, I thought that was 11 up there. That's a pause. I haven't been on this thing in a while. So I just, just, just do a little quickie. Catch us all up there. Maybe I'll just do a little quickie. Right? Spread? Maybe? I have to see if my eagle sister's up yet. And then we'll do that. We have some things we have to get done. So we might just have the little talk today, but we're getting there. Okay, it's coming back. I'll get in routine. Yeah, right. This this brain likes to be in a routine, right? Ah, right. I'm not so rigid. I can sway from those, you know. No people don't see my internal freakouts when things aren't, you know. <gasps> that was shifted that or needs to be like that. <laughs> I do have those things in me too. I really do. Really do. And you call it OCD or whatever. A lot of it. Ah. My eagle sister and I were talking about that. Because that PTSD or having that control. So it's not really that OC OCD. It can be coming across as that. But because we didn't have any control at all as children, all that stuff that happened, when it comes a time that we do have control, whoa, right? Sometimes we can over control. But that's that survival thing to help us feel safe. you can live your whole life like live my whole life not really feeling safe right so make people laugh whatever they're not gonna hurt you whatever you know i've shared enough of that before i'm gonna leave you on this one for now and uh yeah i had to pop in say hi we're gonna get into these routines i'm gonna get back to my usual time because i picked 10 o'clock tuesdays and thursdays right so at least stick to those times or you know what i'm not stressing myself out about anything so i apologize don't stress yourself out about anything so i know no, i'm not gonna apologize right because my goal is to help you to begin with and even get those answers not be dependent on oh my goodness you had to put a video out <laughs> that's in my own head here's my crazy ego right jeez i better put the video out because you know that person that I'm helping is not going to be helped because I didn't put my video up. <laughs> I'm not, not seriously, right? But, you know, we can get into those things like that, too. And we place importance on things. But the, the point of these videos was to help me to get those out, for me to practice using my voice. <sighs> Crying. <laughs> In front of people, well, really, I'm not crying in front of people, am I, right? I'm, I'm, I'm crying in front of my tablet. <laughs> and then I hit a button and then, oh, so many people can see it. Right? But if I can do it, y'all can do it too. Yeah, y'all can. It's up to you what, what, what way that manifests for you, right? Whether it be writing a story, doing video, setting up a blog. Like myself, I love doing the journals and looking back at those to see the growth that I've made. There's some things that I have burned. One thing that I burnt that I wish that I didn't because it would be really nice right now. <sighs> Real clear of what I had gone through. All written out. Yeah, it was um, that was one of my things. Let's, let's clear out the past because every time I read that, I'm triggered and I'm brought back to that state. It makes me so sad. Let me burn that, release it, and we'll give this one more good old shot at it. Yeah. Well, you know what? It doesn't always feel good and we might not see it at the time, but one of the best things to ever happen. Oh, well. Oh. Oh, oh. That's hard to say that. It's very hard to say that. Hmm. Harder to to think that, but there is that no wing, right? Don't know. We've gone through these experiences and the experiences I've gone through can help others, you know? And I want to make it clear. I did not have a horrible childhood. I thought I had a beautiful childhood. I had my daddy there and I felt safe when my daddy was there when my mommy and daddy were together it was like they were like a power couple right right tell me who knows it who knows it give me a shout out here right they were amazing 
in my eyes, that's what it looked like, right? And in seeing, and that's what I saw, right? Be grateful for what you have because there's so many that have it a lot worse, right? So I'm so focused on being grateful for what I have, right? All those little crumbs, right? That if I'm asking for more, I'm not being grateful for what I already have, but it's okay. It's okay to ask because if you just, if we just sit there, we're never going to go any further, right? So there is a thing about counting your blessings and being happy where you're at, but not getting so comfortable in there that you're not growing anymore. Because even then, it's going to start being uncomfortable, right? Like that's that gaslighting. I didn't come up that, 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 um, with gaslighting and emotional abuse and things like that, that sometimes it's so slow you don't know. Like you can put a frog in a boiling water and it'll jump out. I learned this from somewhere else, it didn't come from me. But, right? And then you, but you can put that frog in the cold pot of water and you can turn on that heat and heat that water up slowly and that frog won't jump out. It'll, it'll get cooked. It, it won't feel the heat because it's going, it's so gradual. Right? Somebody just posted, you if you're staying in like in abusive relationships or ignoring red flags, right? You start getting used to those and those become your normal. So you get used to being mistreated. You know, when you're living with pain, you get used to living with pain. Uh, sometimes we won't go check things out because we think, oh, that's just my bad back. Oh, that's just this flaring up, right? So we don't have those things checked, but it's so important to listen to our bodies. Okay, I feel like I'm rambling off around too much and yeah, that's a good time. I'm trying to shorten these videos down so they're not too, too long. You know, some of them will get there. Some of them won't. Uh -huh. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> okay, gotta go. Okay, and I'm not throwing off. My kids were late today, but I got to talk to um, one of the um, teachers at the school that work with Seth, so, or Liam. Hello, there goes my phone way downstairs. Alrighty, okay. I love you all so very much and thank you for being you and shining your light through in everything you do. Yeah, this world needs you. Yes, you're here. That's how you know it, okay? No exceptions. We all belong here. We all deserve to be here. We're all very needed here, okay? We're all a very important part of this world, all right? And what you need to do, hey, that's encoded in you. You need to figure that out. Nobody can do that for you. We might think. We might think we know for somebody else. We sure. Oh, for sure. We could. Because we have our own experience. We've got to remember. We're seeing everything through our own lens. Through our own experiences. And we need to be aware of that. And not to put that onto somebody else. You know? And if we think, hey, I felt this way. I went through a situation like that. This is how that made me feel. How did you feel going through something like that? right? Being curious about how that affects somebody else. You know, being aware that we're not all affected the same. You know what I mean? Right? Because you have people that can be totally traumatized by a dog, right? People that are all that, all that, right? So we don't know. We don't know. So, please. We can never be, well, right, never say never. Be sensitive. Be compassionate and be open. Be open to seeing someone in a different way, to seeing someone in a different way, to seeing yourself in a different way, in a different light, to seeing situations in a different way, in a different light. Get a different angle, right? Sometimes things become more clear to people like this and look at it. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> I can't turn my head upside down. What the hey? Okay. How many times did I say it already? Uh, we love you all. It's like Aunt Mary, hey? Just bit, bit like two hour goodbyes. <laughs> love you all. Tell everybody say hi. We love them. We love you, Aunt Mary. Miss you too. Oh, I saw pictures and Aunt Glenis was up. Oh, I wish I could have been down there, but where was I at that time? All oh, right, because I was at that uh, buck and doll. That's where I was. I was at. My BBS is buck and dope. <gasps> Guess what, my BBS? And my new nephew here, AJ. I got two new nephews, so, you know, and a couple new brothers and stuff, too. Yeah, whether you like it or not, you got me. Ha <laughs> ha! Can't get rid of me now. Um, anyways. <laughs> 
<laughs> Hello, it's my train of thought. A Ray, they were pointing out Ariana. This is Ariana Jacqueline. So she's an AJ as well. <laughs> yeah, my girl's an AJ as well. So, anyway, that's all I had to say there. And, uh, no, let's go. Biggest heart hugs ever. And thank you for being you. You're shining your light through in everything you do because, what? That's right, this world needs you. Yes, you. Especially you. Thank you for being here. Mm. Wonderful, wonderful day. <laughs>